Power outages are becoming very common in the United States. In fact, they happen every day. Whether it's in the wake of a storm or natural disaster, or if the power plants just can't generate enough electricity during peak operating hours, the first thing to go is your power. What will you do when the lights go out? If you have your own grid kicker, they won't, no matter what happens. The sun generates more energy every second than mankind uses in 500,000 years. By utilizing the grid kicker generator, you can capture a portion of this energy and store it in the integrated batteries. The first thing that comes into most people's minds when they think of having backup power is some type of a gasoline-powered generator. However, most people fail to realize that this is one of the most inefficient means of generating backup electricity. In addition to the noise and air pollution, there's a danger of carbon monoxide poisoning if not used properly. And there's the cost of gas, lots and lots of gas. If the gas stations don't have power, you can't get any gas. Since the grid kicker can be recharged using only the sun, there are no fuel costs. It is safe to use indoors because it emits no harmful or noxious gases. Because it makes no noise at all, the grid kicker can be used day and night without disturbing you or your neighbors. Flat panel solar cells are one alternative to gas generators and the electrical grid. Although this is a step in the right direction, these solar cell systems still have major problems. Although the cost of the panels themselves has dropped in the last five years, solar cell farms, such as this one, have many hidden costs. These farms require huge tracts of land. They require costly improvements to the land as well. The area must be cleared of vegetation. Concrete footers must be installed to support the cumbersome racking system. Solar cells by themselves do a poor job of dependably providing electricity. Some solar installations are beginning to use battery storage. This usually entails the use of solar panels to charge the batteries in a remote location. Much of the electricity generated is lost in transmission. Solar substations such as this one are costly to build. In fact, the land improvement and construction costs often are greater than the cost of the solar cells themselves. Wind generators are another alternative to the grid. Like solar, wind generators have many drawbacks. They require huge tracts of land, usually in remote locations. The turbine cost, the cost of installation, is quite high. Like solar panels, wind turbines are at the mercy of the weather. If the wind isn't blowing, no electricity is generated. Wind farms can kill large numbers of birds or bats. They have also been linked to health problems with humans living near them, such as motion sickness, equilibrium problems due to the emission of low frequency from their blades turning, and illness brought on from lack of sleep due to the noise of the turbines. The real solution is to invest in a generation and storage system. The grid kicker is a preeminent combination of these two systems. The future of energy is in decentralized, distributed power generation and mini and micro grids, as small as single homes selling back excess and stored power to the grid. Part of the problem with the centralized grid is the fact that if there's a power outage, it affects not only the surrounding area, but areas that are miles away as well. This results in lost productivity and revenues for businesses. It's dangerous during extreme weather conditions, such as excessive heat or cold, and can cause many inconveniences around the house, such as no hot water, no climate control, and loss of essential appliances, such as refrigerators. With a decentralized grid, power can be tapped into when and where it is needed. This will alleviate the problem of widespread blackouts. If one microgrid fails, power can be shifted from a neighboring microgrid in order to supply power during repairs. These microgrids are autonomous electricity environments that operate within a larger electric utility grid. They are an efficient solution to alternative power integration and charging EVs. The electricity produced by Solar Road's electrical systems can be used by a microgrid to charge storage devices during off-peak periods, when low-priced energy is available, and then draw the storage systems during peak demand when prices are highest and the power supply is lowest. 
The grid kicker can be installed quickly and without penetrating the roof surface, which frequently causes leaks and expensive roof repairs, which involve uninstalling the flat panels, fixing the roof, and then reinstalling the panels. The grid kicker is designed to be linked together in a daisy chain fashion by utilizing plugs, which are built into the underside of the units. It can be run in a series or parallel fashion, depending on the electrical needs of the application. Large arrays can be installed in urban areas on existing infrastructures without modifications, supplying power where it is needed. For the recreational plug and play grid kicker user, there will also be an inverter and a light built into the unit, as well as a meter for checking the charge level of your battery storage. The grid kicker can be charged in a variety of ways. It has a built-in AC charge unit that can be plugged into any outlet. It also has a built-in DC charging unit that can be connected to a vehicle for recharging in remote locations. Charging a 5,000 watt grid kicker from the grid would cost under $2. This is far less expensive than refilling a 5,000 watt gasoline generator. Different uses for the recreational grid kicker include taking it to the beach for portable power to run a fan and a radio, and charge your phone or laptop. You can take it camping for a little more luxury in your tent, run a television for a campfire movie night. If you're doing any construction from the smallest job to the largest build out, Grid Kicker can have your power needs covered. Even take it out on a boat as your main power source or to use as backup power. In conclusion, while solar energy is still making its entry into the national electrical grid, why waste money on old technologies when there's a better, more efficient solution? The Grid Kicker.